Hey, summer travel is in full swing, and for some of you, <laughs> that may include a trip overseas or even across country. Yeah, as exciting as those vacations can be, they can also come with jet lag. And we're asking the question, is it worse traveling in one direction versus the other? Abby Lorico verifies. Travelers here know that once the hotel is booked, the itinerary is mapped out and the plane tickets in hand, a little jet lag is a small price to pay for a big trip once you've arrived at your destination. But it's still helpful to know what you're in for. Let's verify. Is jet lag likely to be worse traveling west to east than east to west? We checked in with these sources, which all agree, yes. Traveling across multiple time zones can affect the body's circadian rhythm, causing jet lag, which the CDC defines as a temporary sleep disorder that can affect your mood, your ability to concentrate, and your physical and mental performance. Researchers from the University of Maryland found people traveling nine time zones east need nearly two weeks to feel better and recover from jet lag, but people traveling the same distance west needed less than eight days. However, they also found fewer time zones crossed meant a smaller impact. Traveling between the east coast and the west coast of the U.S., for example, takes about four days of adjustment either way, though it's still a bit easier traveling west. This 2010 article by Rush University scientists explains why. The human body's natural circadian clock is often longer than 24 hours, so people have a natural tendency to want to stay up and sleep in later. That makes it easier for westbound travelers to adapt to the added hours they get by flying across time zones. The Cleveland Clinic explains there's no guaranteed way to prevent jet lag, but it could help to try to adjust your schedule a little bit before you leave for your trip. And once you get there, spend some time in the sunshine and drink plenty of water to stay alert, refreshed, and ready to take on your trip. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico. Okay, so in addition to that, try sleeping on the plane. If it is nighttime in your destination, eh, that's easier said than done. But remember, pack your plugs, a sleep mask. Try to force yourself to close your eyes. Uh, if it is daytime at your destination, you should stay awake during the flight. And finally, stay on your schedule once you arrive. Say it's morning when you land in Europe. Well, try to stay up all day, you know. Then you become sort of delirious. Just uh, like we get here after working a long day. Hey, you're <laughs>